this will be your best video that you will have watched this week and it will improve how you view the market. So I'm calling it best time frame to use. And it's not that I am supporting my time frame. It's not that I am saying that this is exactly how you should trade and the time frame you should use. I just want to give you like a frame of what to consider any time, what to consider when you're using a time frame. So I have three time frames here. I have daily as the first time frame. Then I have four hour as the second time frame. And I, then I have 30 minutes as the third time frame. And I will tell you why I have chosen of daily four hour and 30 minutes. If you want to be a day trader, of course, you want to make money every day and you don't want to rely on the daily alone because daily can take up to 24 hours for any uh, any trade setup to, to mature or to give you. So if you say daily is my best time frame, okay, you can get setups, but maybe in a week you'll be getting two to three setups because a day, maybe Monday, the setup is not there, Tuesday, maybe you get a setup on Wednesday. But when you combine daily with another time frame like four hour, you will start now getting more opportunities to trade because a day has six candles on four hour. Now, if again, we rely on daily and four hour, it means these six times, if we don't have a chance, the whole day do not have a trade. And I will give you a case study uh, on what I'm talking about. So your first time frame daily is for confirmation. What do you want to be confirmed? You want to be confirmed the direction. So daily we are using it as confirmation. So there's a difference between being confirmed something and being told it is time. So confirmation is just, you need to know, uh, is the market buying or selling? So that is the because there's nothing in between. So it's either the market is telling you buy or sell. And that's what we are looking on the edition. You just look the trend of the market and you know who is in control. Our buyers are in control or sellers are in control. When it comes to four hour, we are looking for the pattern. So here we are looking for the pattern. And because if you check for the pattern on four hour, it will give you more confidence to trade that pattern because any pattern and a good pattern will always have three categories. And I keep saying this, any good pattern will have an entry. Any good pattern will have a target and it will have, an, you don't have a rule based like way to know this is where I enter, this is where I target, this is where I exit. Patterns tells you target, target, exit if this violated, that's what I mean. So far we are looking for patterns and one minute for, for sniper entry. So yes, I have the pattern on four hour. Uh, I can look for sniper entry. And the reason why I am bringing uh, 30 minutes and lower time frame than four hour is because when I was trading daily and four hour alone, I used to miss my patterns on four hour because they were hidden on one time frame than four hour. And I'll show you this. So if let's say you're trading daily and four hour directly gives you a pattern, there's no need of going to 30 minutes. If you trade uh, on daily, you get confirmation, the market is your buy. Then you go to four hour, you're trying to look for a pattern you can't see, that's when you start scaling. And I'm not saying 30 minutes is the whichever time frame, but it is lower than four hours, okay? So let's try to do the first one, confirmation, daily confirmation. So if I look at this chart, the market seems to be on an uptrend because buyers are in control. Remember the tools? Um, if I loot, put my trend line like that, the market has, the sellers are, are becoming weaker every single time, okay? So the sellers are becoming weaker. And if I decide that this market is a buy, I'll be, I'll be trading on actual, why? Because the market attempted, they created this resistance and you can see that's where the market is. So for me, even if I want to look for confirmation, either market is a buy or sell, there's a rule I always have. If the market is a buy, let them break the next resistance. If the market is strong as sell, let them break the next support. So in such a case, I won't be in a rush going to four and start looking for buy because of this Marubozu candle. Don't be fooled by Marubozu candle. Marubozu candle, if they have not done the work of breaking resistance, Marubozu, they are just there to manipulate you and to place your buy orders. So for me, until I see this resistance being broken, that's when I will do the next step. So if you come now, you have analyzed, you come the second day and you check and you can zoom to see buyers have been so strong and, and you can tell the sellers are pushing this market. So you're like, yes, you have broken my resistance. So we are trying to end on to 30 minutes because you're still at the first stage of confirmation. Majority of people, they make mistakes going to lower time frames to look for confirmation. 
we don't look for confirmation on lower time frame. We look for entries and sniper entries on lower time frame after we have been confirmed that the market is a buy. So as long as the market has broken with the body, the market wants to buy. But you already know, anytime the market breaks any resistance, it has to come down. We need to see some kind of a retracement and, and the market will eventually come down. Now, the mistake many majority of people do, they will say the market can retrace back to this area using the the same time frame going wrong. So we don't use the same time frame to look for retracement. So let's start seeing if the market will retrace. You just want to see that retracement on daily. And you can see if you bought immediately, it means they have trapped you and the market went down with 65 pips. It's not that much, but you will feel bad because how can the market tell me they are buying and then a red big candle? Now, this red candle is not too to, to make you fear. This red candle is to tell you that retracement has happened. And if now I want to look to buy, the market has done what I wanted it to do on the day. They have broken a resistance, retracement has happened. Now let me go to my four hour and look for the pattern. Okay, are we following? So when you go to four hour, this is what you find. So when you go to four hour, remember four hour, we are coming to look for a pattern. We are not coming to look for anything else. We are coming to look for a pattern and mostly because we want to buy. Let me go back to daily. We concluded the market is a buy because one, it's on an uptrend. Two, it has broken resistance. So here in con confirmation, we need to buy, not to sell. Remember, we want to buy, not to sell. So we are not pro sellers. We are not selling. We want to buy. So when I come to four hour and I want to buy and I'm looking for a pattern, the pattern for buying is which pattern? Is it a double top or a double top for buying the market? That's what I'm saying. If you if you know you want to buy, so you look for a double bottom. So if I come on four hour, and this is what I'm saying. So let me first delete everything so that we can have a clear picture. So this is my four hour. Remember, the, the daily, the market broke, and we saw that breaking, and there was a retracement. On four, I'm looking for, I'm coming to look for a, a, a pattern. But when the market has stopped, I cannot see any pattern. Can you see? I cannot see any pattern. I will not go directly looking it, looking for the pattern on that minute. No, I will say because I cannot see any pattern on, I cannot see any pattern on 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 four hour. What if I go to three hours? Will I see the pattern? So you start scaling. So there is a procedure for scaling. So if I go to three hours, remember I am looking for a double bottom. So for if you stay on four, you say the retracement is not yet done because on four hour, what they are trying to tell you. They are trying to tell you that sell has um is more active than than the than the buyers because they are telling you according to four hour that's why I tell people you will always make mistakes when you analyze you you want to get your confirmation using four hour time frame remember four hour is misleading people they are telling you we have broken retested look for sale you see now the difference because if you come to four hour to look for confirmation that's exactly what you're being told but when you go to when we are from daily, we are we are sure that we are looking for buy. So three hours, no confirmation on any pattern. We go to two hours, still no confirmation. You can see two hours, we don't have a confirmation. I go to one hour, I'm, I'm looking for a double bottom. So when I come to one hour, guys, and I want to look at this double bottom, you can see, is do I have a double bottom on two hours, on one hour? The question is, do I have a double bottom on one hour? Of course, I have a double bottom on one hour. Can you see it? The double bottom is on one hour. So I would want to go on that minute, but I cannot go to that minute because why would I waste my time to go on that minute? And I have found the double bottom on one hour. So when I say you can use these time frames as uh, as for sniper entry and as for confirmation, you will never know from four hour which time frame you will have. So you will scale from three hour, two hour, and you can see two hour that double bottom disappears. Three hours that double bottom disappears. Four hour, that double bottoms disappear. Daily, that double bottom disappear. So you will be wondering, by the way, what is the criteria for retracement? How will I ever know the market has finished retracement? Retracement always activates a pattern. So from four hour, the pattern was activated on one hour. Now I have a double bottom that is OPT, and I just need to use CRB strategy. CRB means current resistance break, and I will try to enter that trade so and if they break on the neckline if the market break on the neckline it is gonna go this direction imagine that's how you use time frames to support your analysis use the time frame at your advantage always no retracement will always go to activate patterns so it's either i'm working on a double top or a double bottom simple it's either i i know the market is a buy or a sell 
So I have everything uh, settled like that. I have um I have the full pattern because I will be looking for the market to do a complete double top, and you know a complete double top will hit to TP too. So remember the if I want to enter up to half, that is our first take profit, and then half to neckline our second take profit, and then neckline to the TP3. And TP4 sometimes is never guaranteed, but sometimes the market goes to TP4. Remember, confirmation came from the daily that the market is trendy, uptrend, and buyers are in control. Okay. So the criteria for my entry will be current resistance break, CRB. So I have a current resistance like there. So I'll just come here and type CRB. The reason why I keep typing is for me not to forget. So I will be coming back after every one hour. So I will even put my alarm on my clock or my phone. And then after one hour, the, the alarm goes on and then I come and I check. So after one hour, let's see what happened. After one hour, I come check, nothing has happened. I come check another one hour <clears throat> and I find resistance has shifted. You can see we have a green followed by red. So I'm no longer working with this because this strategy says current resistance break. So I will come back after another one hour to check, did, do I have an entry? You can see I don't have an entry because no breaking. And then I come back after one hour and now this time I'm very excited. Guys, if imagine this was you, imagine you're analyzing this trade and now you have a direction that you can enter this trade up to there. Imagine this was your own analysis, which it can be if you follow this video and it can be helpful. So you're getting 22 pips. So you will put your take profit and try to see Will the market uh, hit my 22 pips? And you can see it's almost hitting 22 pips. And once the market hits 22 pips, you can still again add another trade. So those are 22 pips. And in this case, we want to buy up to the neckline, okay? Because buying to the neckline, half has to be broken. But remember, there are so many other things that you can use to go to the neckline. So 45 pips again, and let's see what happens. That one was easy from the, you can see 45 pips has been hit. And then you can now trade up to the, the third one. Remember the fourth one is not guaranteed. So you'll be waiting for the neckline to break. So let's wait for the neckline to break because it has not broken. And you can see once the neckline breaks, you can target the last take profit. Let's see what really happened to that trade. Did it hit the TP? So the TP was hit and even the market proceeded to TP4. Now, in short, what I'm trying to say is that if you want to have such successful trades every day when you're trading by yourself, if this is you and you want to have such successful trade, using multiple timeframes to help you realize the time frame or the setup or the pattern is very important. Anyone who was still stuck on four hour, they didn't know why the market bought. You can see on four hour, the market just went buying. So many people didn't understand why did four hour broke a support and then the market entered and, and it started to buy. They didn't know that on four hour, imagine having such a trade. If I can hide the, the details, this market, it's like it is floating on, on the air, but you don't know that they had activated a double bottom here on one hour. So that's what I'm saying. You can see that buy was so smooth. If we go to the daily, and you can see the fact that the market had broken this resistance, the retracement was for one day. You can imagine all those days market buying, and it's just by analyzing on four. So if you're told, how, where do you target? So when I tell people, use, when I tell people, use four hour lower time frame for your entry for patterns, that's what I say. That's what I mean. Because how will you even know where the market is going? How will you even target? So guys, remember, I showed these double tops, double bottoms here on YouTube. This was the first, first strategies to help me become profitable. I use double tops, double bottoms to buy my first car. So these patterns are very profitable if they are used well. But I want to say something, guys. I want to say, let me first show you this Zoom, uh, Zoom for X webinar. If, I don't know if I'm sharing it. Yes, I'm sharing it. If you want to learn other methods, that is one of the way to become profitable. But what now I'm doing with my students, I'm not doing patterns anymore. I am doing BTB setups. I am doing RBB setups. 
BWA setups. I am no longer using patterns. I'm using pure price action. It is a bit easier. It is more profitable than the patterns. But if you don't have the money, you go with the patterns and make everything, something small every day. So this Zoom Forex trading webinar, we are starting on 20th of October, this coming Sunday. If you're watching this video and it's not yet 20th, know that you're not late and it will be happening every 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Two, day, two days uh, every week, Sundays and Tuesdays. The best thing with this, we are trading live with my students. I'm showing everything. I'm showing how I'm trading live and I'm giving them trades. So you can imagine in one month, why don't you invest a whole one month and you just give it the last try. I know many people have tried Forex trading and it didn't work. Why don't you challenge yourself? Before the year ends, imagine you're coming to the, the, the end of the year, you just challenge yourself. You say, I'm investing 1500 for one month and try to say, and this is for international students because uh, you, it's hard for you to come to Kenya and you, we can learn via Zoom. So if if you want to buy my course, it is still available. If you still want to come for my physical class in Kenya, it is still available. It is still available. My course and my physical classes, they go for $1,000, but it's because it's two weeks. But this one, because it's a whole month, is $1,500, okay? So in short, what I'm trying to say is that any time that you have an opportunity to learn, like even knowing how to, to just uh, analyze time frame is a benefit to you. So the reason why I'm saying this is because majority of people have opened their accounts on Telegram impersonating me. So if I don't tell you what I offer, you will be lied by someone. So just know that I only offer Zoom classes, mentorship. I only sell my course. I don't do Bitcoins. I don't trade on behalf of people. I don't do investment. I don't tell people to download wallets. I don't do all those. Even if the profile is my picture, they have just downloaded my pictures and used them as their profile. So anytime you're dealing with me online, you have to ask either for a voice note or even a video call. Or if you're using this number, of course, the number that is on the poster, it will be me because I'm telling you this is me. Okay, guys. So... Always take care. Don't be, don't fall for those scammers. That's why I will come here because they post, even they in their pages, they post what I post. So it is very hard to know who you are dealing with. So guys, I hope that lesson was so important and I wish you all the best. Make as much money as possible and change your story. Bye-bye and love you.